Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. Today we need to take the bales off this field, get it flipped over, put some lime down and some fertilizer. We also need to skip over to the month of November where we can grab the silage that's sitting here fermenting, 420,000 liters, put it into the BGA so we can start earning the money. So hopefully by springtime we can afford the cow farm at just under $300,000. Let's get started. In the Fed 1000 with our bale trailer. Lovely little auto loader that we got going on here. Get these bales out the field and then we'll of course spread some lime down. Want to get that done so I can return the lime spreader. We are leasing that currently and I don't want to have to pay any overnight fees on that. Uh, when I get all the bales on here, it's not that big of a grass field and the grass field wasn't fully grown in some parts. I don't remember how many bales we created, but it was more than I thought I would get off the field. I am going to put them at the cow farm. We don't own it. Uh, I was trying some things in between episodes, like where could I put it? And I thought I was going to be able to put it into one of the sheds. And it's like, why can't I get in the sheds? And I realized I probably can't open the doors because, well, I don't own it yet. So, <laughs> um, I will probably just put them in another shed somewhere don't know where yet. I would just like to unstack them as they are. Let's see if we can find a place. Spin around here. I think this is uh, all the bales. I think so. I'm not too sure. Yeah, it looks good. I don't think I got any more bales. If I do, we'll just pick them up later on. They won't decay or anything. So let's go over to the cow farm, which is right in front of us. I will... You know what? No, no. I'm not going to go across our future field. Our future extended grass field. We'll go around here like we should. Let's see if I can get the bales close enough to unload into here. Well, I guess that's not too bad. They'll have to sit out in the weather, but you know what? They'll be fine. They're not going to decay or anything like that. So originally, I wanted to put the bales down in this shed over here, but I can't open these doors. Uh, I, I assume they do open. It's a nice shed. I, I mean, you can see the space we'd have on either side, so I can unload bales to the right and left. But gotta buy it first, I assume. All right, let's spin around here. Uh, yep, trailer hit the guardrail. We're all good. Drop this off at the farm, bring the fence back up, and we will start spreading some lime, then bring the vulture down, spread some fertilizer. Then the grass field's good to go, and we are good to go into the month of November, where we're going to speed up time till the afternoon. And while that's happening, I will bring up a belt system and get the fence over there with our forage wagon and start putting in the silage into the BGA. And we'll watch the money roll in. I'll probably... I don't know if I can... Uh, I, I think I checked. I don't think I can put manure into the forage wagon. So I may have to make a separate trip over for that. Because that is starting to pile up. I'm waiting for the second pile to start appearing. When it does, that usually means I got a full trailer load to bring on over. And the more the merrier. Because I need $300,000 to buy that cow farm. And I did test a little bit with the production buildings that I want to use here. Uh, it's not that big of a production. It's been out for a while as well. As I mentioned, I thought about using it when I started this series. So that tells you that the production building's been out for a while. I'm not trying to be crude and not say when uh, or what production it is. Uh, but I will drop a little bit of hints here and there. It's going to be nothing spectacular, I don't think. Uh, let's drop that off there. And we'll just use the fence because the Landini does all right with the spreader. But going uphill, it could uh, slow down quite a bit. I may end up using more lime that way.
All right. And I was, uh, I think there was a comment. I may have been on the older episode. Why not? Why am I not using the Kubota spreader for spreading the lime? Because that will do it. It's just a matter of, you know, unloading the lime and fertilizer and all that kind of stuff. Uh, plus, this is a bigger capacity. Although the Kubota spreader does 42 meter wide. So it would make quick work of this grass field for sure. At some point, I wouldn't mind having the Breedle Spreader on the farm, but my next purchases are going to be... The cow farm is the main thing. That's the next thing definitely on the list. The first production building that I need is going to cost 200000 Seems kind of expensive, but it'll bring in the money for sure. And then some more implements we do need uh, as it comes along. I don't mind leasing the other implements still, because... The things I still need to lease or I need on the farm, those are things I can use in one month time, one in-game day. So I'm not going to be paying overnight fees and that kind of stuff. So like a planter, the sea and spot weed sprayer, things like that, I, I can just use it all in one day. We can lease it, use it, return it the same day, and we'll be all set. But getting like the other production building in, uh, getting the cow farm in, that's going to bring us in more money than the implements will for sure because the cows are going to produce more manure more slurry which can be all brought over to the bga which we do know helps us bring in the cash as well i think we got some flour to sell next month or in january depending when the best price is going to be not a whole lot but it will be sold and all the time going through the winter months we got to make sure that our animals are all set keep them top off with some food We don't need any animals dying on us because we didn't give them enough of their feed uh, and water as well. Oh, I keep forgetting the sheep don't need water anymore. That's right, the sheep don't need water on the updated American Falls map, so don't have to worry about that. I could use the automatic water system if I need to. We should be all set. I don't think the pigs require water either, do they? Let me just double check on the on the piglets. The piggies here. Uh, slurry straw. No, there's no, nothing for water. And, of course, the chickens and the ducks don't need water either. So, yeah, we're all set water-wise here. Kind of hoping I can get this whole grass field done without putting more lime into the spreader. which we may be able to do. It's going to be kind of close. I'm missing a little bit pieces here and there, but overall, it's not going to matter too much. And once we get this grass field all done with lime spreading, every field that we currently own has been lime spread this fall. So it should be good for a few years to come. A job we won't have to do for quite a while. So no rush to get the Breedle Spreader in our possession. And I would hope that three years from now, we have enough money on the farm where we would already have this anyways. Or when we need it, we can just go ahead and purchase it. it looks like we do have enough lime to get this job done. I will go back to the farm and unload the lime that we currently have. Although it's not going to be... The lime that I'm unloading is not worth that much. But we'll keep it in stock somewhere. I just don't like having a whole bunch of pallets hanging around my farm for years on end. For some reason that kind of stuff <laughs> gets under my skin a little bit. Well, I see this pallet sitting there. I'm kind of the same way with my equipment around the farm. I just don't like leaving everything parked there. It looks like that sometimes. I usually just pull into the farm, leave it there. But if I'm using it within the same in-game day or within five minutes of the recording, it's like, yeah, we'll leave it there. 
Can I grab this as well? Yeah, we'll get the neighbor's field, which will might be ours in a few months' time. All right, fold that on up. Let's go back to the farm, unload this into, I think, the shed where the uh, header is in. And we can turn the spreader, and then we'll jump into the Voltra. I think I got a good amount of fertilizer in the spreader. If not, well, we'll top it off. And we'll take care of our grass field. All right, let's come on into here, and let's see if it'll unload... Uh, maybe I have to open up the covers to do so. Okay, so maybe I have no room for everything to spawn here. I can't see what I'm doing because we're colliding with the wall. <laughs> Alright, how about if I come out here? Okay, now it spawns out there. All right, well, whatever. It's there now. Uh, let's go into the store menu and lease items. We can return that. And we'll go ahead and park out the fence, which looks filthy. I still don't have a pressure washer on the farm. Been here seven years, haven't washed a vehicle yet. What is in the spreader? Uh, is that enough? Maybe, maybe not. So we're going to go ahead and fill that on up. Kind of hard to see the money go down like that when you're trying to save up for something and then you got to go buy something <laughs> but it's needed i don't need all the fertilizers in here of course but we'll get some contracts maybe in the springtime i don't really plan on doing many contracts this fall i really just want to sell the silage next month and all the products that i can sell through the winter months and see where we stand in the springtime and then go hard at it to get the cow farm. All right, let's make sure we're on the widest working width, which we are, perfect. So somewhere like right about here. At least with a lime on the ground, it makes it so much easier to see what you're covering and where you've been. Now, next year, I don't know what I have plans for this grass field, meaning I don't know if I'm going to use it all for silage or am I just going to keep making hay bales off of it? Probably the first cut will be brought over to the BGA along with the other grass field. We're not going to have that many cows yet to where it warrants that much hay if we have the cow barn by the time I cut this grass next year. I'm thinking of starting with just maybe six or a dozen dairy cattle. We will get them at full age. We're not going to get calves. We'll get them at full age so they can start uh, having some offspring within a decent time frame. I don't want to get too many cattle right off to begin with because I want to make sure that we can manage what we do have, which I think we can, but I just want to be sure about it. Yeah, could have got this grass field done with the fertilizer I had. Go ahead and narrow the working width a little bit.
seems like a long time ago we were in this lower part of the field cutting down the trees and dragging them to the cell point with our Landini. Made a decent amount of money from those trees. But that is a while ago. Although I'm still baffled that I've been here seven years already. Doesn't feel like it's been seven years. All right, leave that. Whoops, leave that on the widest working width. So next time I use it, it's ready to go. So I'm going to bring this equipment back. Uh, I'm going to come back at the Landini, the baler, bring that back to the farm as well. I'll double check on the animals. They should be all set. The one thing I don't remember, I haven't checked on in a while, is the store page. Although I shouldn't look in here. Um, oh yeah, low loader. That would have been nice to buy and sale. And well, a case tractor with probably a lot of horsepower. At 275. Uh, be nice to have, well, m maybe not a tractor that big. I think I could use a, another decent tractor. When I say decent, I mean like 300 horsepower somewhere in there. Because as the farm expands, we're going to need more equipment. But I do need to save up. Got to stay focused. Cow farm is the next thing I need to purchase for uh, just under 300,000. I think it was like 293, which is better because I thought. It was 330 for the cow farm, but now it's 293, or it's always been 293. I just had 330 on the mine for some reason. Well, everything should be all set for the rest of the month, so we're going to go ahead and sleep on through. So we're going to bed just short of 46,000. The pigs will need to be fed next month for sure. And the sheep and the chickens, I just checked on. I just fed the chickens as well. Uh, we can actually sleep until 9. Should be good there. Currently, I'm filling up the forge wagon with the silage from the fermenting silo. There was about 12,000 liters in there, so if I'm going over, might as well bring that with. So we woke up with 77,000 in the bank account. We did bring some slurry over to the BGA. That's where most of the money came on in from. And there was some silage over there as well. So we're bringing that money in, which is good. Uh, the store page, well, just looking around, see what's there. What the heck is that thing? Uh, that's a tipper trailer, huh? Uh, we don't need nothing like that. We got ourselves a baler and everything else. Yeah, we don't really need nothing there. I really shouldn't be looking there. You keep telling yourself, don't look there, and you keep on looking there. So, I think what I want to try to do, first of all, over at the BGA, is I may just try to use the forge wagon to pick up most of the silage. I'm probably too close to the wall to get it all. But if I can uh, save a little bit of money on the belt, which is kind of ridiculous because I think leasing the belt is only like a thousand and I'll probably end up doing it anyways. I'm going to try to pick it up with a forge wagon. I did that before on Goldcrest Valley and it, and it did okay. I just want to see how this will perform. Silage is not ready yet. Won't be until about one o'clock in the afternoon or so. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm probably also going to grab the Landini. Uh, while we're waiting and bring the manure over to the BGA. I want to shove that all into the BGA. I want that process going. We need to bring in the cash. So I'm going to dump the silage into the BGA and I'll see you back over, well, at the BGA itself with the Leandini and the manure and we'll put that in as well. Well, before I bring the manure over, I do need to give the pigs some food, so before I forget that during the month, which would be kind of disastrous for our farm, we'll fill that up with corn. Don't want to give them all corn. Uh, need to give them some cereal crop as well. So we'll back in here and give them a little bit of corn and then a little bit of some wheat. Yeah, the manure pile is a couple of stacks. Actually, we got almost a full trailer load, so that's a good reason to bring it on over. We still actually had some silage and slurry left over from the previous month still being processed over at the BGA. So that may go through all of it by the time we get to what's in the silo bunker over there. Yep, the Landini doesn't quite like bringing a full load in, but the fence is already over there. Uh, just excuse the pig that's laying in the fence here.
Uh, the trigger is there. I just gotta get closer to the straw bale, I guess. There we go. See my 43. Let's bring it down to about 25,000 liters left in the grain trailer. Then I should have some room, I hope, for some cereal crop. All right, how's that looking? This is the only benefit of having, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, the benefit of when you bring in pig food by itself, because it'll cover all categories and then you don't have to worry about putting so much of this in, putting so much of that in, what's currently in the feed trough. Ah, that pig decided to wake up. Probably woke it up when I drove by. Didn't like it too much. I don't really want to do any contracts, but... Okay, I was looking for just fertilizing contracts that I might be able to rip out. Uh, but nothing really showing up this morning. Figure while I was doing all this, we could have one of the Franks fertilizing one of the fields. Because we still need another $215,000 for the cow farm. Alright, give me some... Nope, wrong way. Go this way. And we don't need a whole lot. I think 15,000 liters is all we really need. And the pig should be good for about a month and a half or so. Now the way I'd like to take care of my animals on the farm, I, I wish the feed troughs would last the animals about two and a half months. Not to where you have to feed them every month. But then again, in real life, you wouldn't be going every two and a half months before you put feed in the animals troughs uh, let's go here yeah 15,000 liters should bring that total all the way up to almost 40,000 which is why I think okay it only holds 34,000 I thought it hold, held 40,000 but that's what I get for thinking right uh, so yeah even though we don't have root crops and protein in the feed trough which counts as 25% of their feed the pig's health is still at 100% so yeah, I don't see the need for getting the root crop over. Which I did change over at the end of the last episode. Uh, I kind of forgot about this. Uh, the greenhouses. I was saving the lettuce and tomatoes in one greenhouse. Because we can use that as a root crop. As a feed. I went ahead and put that greenhouse back to the selling. Since the pig south is at 100%. I don't want to have to travel over there. To get the tomatoes and lettuce and bring it back to the pigs. If the pigs are going to be 100% with just that, then I'm okay with it. If the pigs are okay with it, then I'm okay with it. All right, let's grab this manure. And I'm not speeding up time to check because I want to get that manure in the BGA and it can be processed. Uh, the trigger should be like right about here-ish. Somewhere. There we go. Yeah, so... I don't bother picking up the manure because you can see there's two separate piles there. Once it gets over to the second pile, then it's start, starting to be time to load up and bring it on over because this trailer does hold quite a bit. But we should grab all the manure that was there. And there it is. And then we'll shut the gate behind us. And then spend the rest of the day over at the BGA. I say spend the rest of the day. It's going to be kind of a quick day in some sense. I guess all depends on how fast we can get the silage out of the bunker and into the BGA to be processed. Since our forge wagon holds 200,000 liters, it's only going to take three loads of the forge wagon to be put into the BGA. And it's not going to take all of it at once, so I'll have to fast forward time to be processed. But I'm not doing anything else this month anyways, so... Yep, let's get back over to the BGA. We'll put this in. And then uh, we'll wait until the grass has been fermented over the silage. Not been the easiest driving over here. 
even though it's two pretty much straight roads. Uh, but taking a corner with almost 40,000 liters of manure in the back of a trailer in the Landini. Yeah, the front end is a little bit light on the steering and the trailer is pushing me around a bit. So I got to be kind of careful going around corners here. Not worried about tipping over. I'm more worried about jackknifing or what have you, under steering, all that kind of stuff. All right, once we get this into the BGA, which I probably got to turn on the production of manure. There we go. Right there would be good. All right, while that's dumping on in, we should be able to come in here and manure is showing in. Let's go ahead and activate that. So the digestate is slowly piling in there. Uh, we will probably sell that once we get the production buildings up and going, which I don't know when that will be. Uh, you know, will it be next year? I, I don't know. It could be. You never know. But I think it's going to be very slick. A very slick production we'll have going. All right, I want to park this over here. And now that's into the BGA. The rain is coming, so it's going to make transferring the silage over into the BGA so much fun. Now, somewhere around 1.30 in the afternoon is when this should be all set to be picked up. In the meantime, we can watch the manure and silage and slurry that's currently in the BGA being processed. And bringing in a little bit of cash here and there, like three grand every hour, is it? Somewhere, somewhere around the, the, that line? Of course, we could be out of silage or slurry at this point and just be doing manure. Now, I don't think I'm going to get all of the silage up with the forage wagon. I think the corner is going to be rough. So I'll prob probably end up getting the belt. I thought this was going to be... Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, I didn't see the notification come up saying it was done. Probably missed it. But it's 100%. Let's go ahead and uncover this. Oh, and I may not be able to pick it all up because... Yeah. I'm going to need something to get the rest of the tarp off. Well, I think I need to get the belt anyways. Before I even get that far. Well, we'll pick up a little bit of it and get it to the BGA. Forgot about that part. Thought I was just going to keep on covering as I went along. I mean, I need the belt anyways. Yeah, I don't think I was going to get everything in that corner. So let me go ahead and plop this in so the process can start. I don't get another 5% from the silage additive either. I tried that in a test a while ago and it doesn't work. Alright, park that here right now. And then let's go to the store. All the way down the belts. And of course we get the modded one, so I only need this belt only. Yeah, if you get the in-game belt, so I mean, you can see it's the same belt, but this is modded. If you get the in-game belt, you're going to need this belt right here to attach to this one so it picks it right off the ground. But we're using a modded one to where we don't have to do that. Is it 800? Oh, it's 2,000 to lease it. Okay. Uh, $1,000 is more than I thought it was, but, you know, that's more than okay. And I should be able to jump right into it. And if I drive in it, I think it goes 15 miles an hour. Uh, need to do that. And then, of course, this. I'll get on down there at 15 miles an hour. Not a speed demon, but by the time I bring a tractor down and drive back, since the tractors drive at 30 miles an hour, it's going to take me about the same amount of time. All right, this should make our work just a little bit easier. 
There we go. Now we're uncovering some stuff. Uh, is that belt up as high as it goes? Yes, it is. Let's extend the belt just a little bit so I can be sure to get the TARDIS underneath it. And once we get a good load of silage in there, I'll start speeding up some time. Scroll back so I can see that we're getting into the trailer, but now I got myself enough room. I could back up the trailer so it's in line with the belt. So we had 420,000 liters in here, maybe a little bit more. I brought a little bit over in the first load. So really when I get down to about 220,000 is when I have a full trailer in the TARDIS. Although I may need to extend... No, I can't extend the belt anymore. All right, well, that's a good enough start anyways. We'll park that right there. We'll bring up what we have. Because I don't think it could take 200,000 liters. I kind of forgot the number it could hold. And this will go through the silage at a decent rate. Okay, it took... <laughs> I didn't know it was going to take take all I had in the in the TARDIS. Uh, we are out of slurry. Well, at least at the BGA. Let's deactivate that. Still going through some manure. Uh, but yeah, I can definitely take more into here. Uh, let's speed up time to about times 15. That seems about a good pace for us, I think. So, I am really hoping... I, I, I don't... I should know the numbers better than this. But I'm hoping that by the time this all gets processed, we're up to $200,000. That seems somewhat reasonable because we only need, need like another one hundred twenty dollars from what we currently have. So I'm hoping I can get at least all of this out of the bunker today so I can return the belt. Although the overnight fee on this might be just like 500 bucks. So slowly but surely the BGA would bring in the cash. I will advance the time a little bit quicker once I Get the BGA nice and full. Actually, we can probably go a little bit faster than that because I don't think it's going to go through that fast. 173. It's going to get dark here, but not much we can do about that. All right, let me go dump this in. And then once we get it all in, we can just sleep through the night and let the BGA do its thing. While that's unloading into there, I want to check the stock market page. What do I got? Well, the eggs should be sold, but it's only 300 dollars 300 dollars 300, yeah, 3300 uh, The corn we keep. Anything else should be sold? No. The flour should be sold in January. We got twenty six grand in that. And there we go. The BGA is full. So we are coming up to the top of the hour. And we're sitting at 87.8. Yeah, so it's about three grand every hour, which isn't bad. So over a 24 hour period, maybe 75 grand. Ugh. Really, I'm hoping to get up to 200,000 by the time it's all said and done. And it's getting way too dark for you guys to see because <laughs> I can barely see myself. So I'm going to finish this up unloading into here. And uh, hopefully we can get this all into the BGA today or tonight at this point. 
Well, the BGA silo bunker is all empty. It's uh, 7.30 in the evening. And we are up to 100 grand in the bank account, which is, well, halfway to my goal. But we were at, what, 70,000 when we started. I don't expect to take this all out of the forge wagon, but that's fine as long as we got the bunker empty. So we can go ahead and just return this. And I think I'm going to be kind of safe leaving this here, but we can just speed up time. I was thinking about just sleeping through the night and this won't go through all of this. I don't think so. So actually we'll put it back to times 10 just for now. Let's uh, teleport back home. Actually, are all my animals, how are they look in here? Uh, I did feed the chickens and ducks. They are good. The pigs we just fed today, so they are good. And the sheep and goats are doing just fine. So we can go back to our lovely little tent. Luckily, it hasn't snowed yet. Uh, but it's a good tent. It keeps us nice and warm. Uh, we'll sleep till 9 o'clock again. No need to get up bright and early. How are we doing? 144 in the bank account. And let's just jump right back over to here. Still got a good amount to go through. And it took everything out of there. So we now have how much more silage to process. Uh, 265,000. So we, have only, we haven't even gotten halfway through it yet. So that's not too bad. Uh, the manure, we can deactivate that. That is good to go. And everything else is looking good. The greenhouse should be good to go for a long time. So I can bring this back. I can bring the Landini back as well. So I think we'll hit 200000 in the bank account just from that. I'm kind of going to push it to two twenty-five. dollars uh, If we can get up to that much, that'd be good. Yeah, not quite enough to buy the cow farm in the springtime. Uh, it is December. I'm guessing not much is left for contract work, if anything. Uh, plowing field number two. Uh, we'll accept that contract for twenty-two grand. Yes, we will. Let's not knock down the stop sign. So the Landini will be busy plowing field number two. I do have some tomatoes and a pallet of lettuce that did spawn. I'll just leave that there for now. I could bring over to the pigs and give it to, to them as root crop feed. But as we saw, they don't really need it. So I'm kind of hoping when it comes time to sell the greenhouses, that will either just sell. I mean, it's not worth that much. Maybe like five, $600 worth of material there. Still something. But another thing I got to, to do that's going to hurt a little bit is uh, it is December, which means I got to do, I got I to pay 30000 off that loan. We do have a loan. I said every December 30000 So that's got to come off. Ah. Don't want to forget that, so I should do it while I'm thinking about it, right? Uh, nope, that's the wrong page. This is the right page. Repay another 30. Oh, just 30. There we go. So now we're back down to 114. Well, it is what it is. Uh, but we'll save a little bit of money on loan interest every midnight. Not a whole lot, but you got to pay off that loan at some point. So we're going to get the field plowed. Uh, we'll let the BGA do its thing in the meantime. Let me just slow down time here just a little bit. So I'll get the field uh, done in between episodes. And when we start next episode, it should be in the evening hours of December. We'll get into January where we can sell the flower and then move on till springtime. But I think that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then, have a good one.